Ready? Mm -hmm. We're here today to help out my friend Judah. He has a go-kart that he has loved for a long time, but the 20th century battery technology he's been using has been letting him down, hasn't it? Yep. In fact, the last set of batteries didn't even last you a year. Nope. But we're gonna fix that today. I've worked with lift time batteries on lots of projects in the past, and I've been very happy with their performance. So I reached out to them to see if they were interested in sending me their new golf cart batteries for Judah's go-kart. They said yes. So, Judah, are you ready for an upgrade? Yes. All right. Welcome back to Projects with Everyday Dave. Let's put some golf cart power in Judah's go-kart. Here is all the parts that we're gonna work with today. This is the battery that Lit Time sent us, and this is a golf cart battery, and it can manage 48 volts. Now, your go-kart used 48 volts before, but it did that with these small AGM 12-volt batteries all put together in series, and it's very heavy. I'm going to flip this up. Have you opened this before? Okay, well this is what was running your go-kart, and it's got these chintzy little wires holding it together, but these little AGM 12-volt lead-acid batteries, they're from the 20th century, and they just don't perform as well as the new technology that we have today. So, we're going to switch to lithium iron phosphate, and I'll explain the difference between those in a minute. So we have a battery, then we have a breaker. Now, this particular battery, it can put out 30 amps all by itself and your go-kart doesn't need 30 amps. <laughs> and if we were gonna run 30 amps, we'd have to use really big wires. So in order to manage the electricity without any kind of danger of the wire shorting or something like that, we're gonna add this circuit breaker. I made up this particular breaker for you so that you could manage that power. And all I did, I bought this breaker in a box off of Amazon. They're not that expensive. And then all I did is I wired this 12 gauge silicone wire right into one side of the breaker with an Anderson connector on the other. I put a little bit of, of um, hot melt glue in the back there so that the wires don't get fatigued on you. And then on the other side, I ran some 12 gauge wire with some heat shrink lugs on the end that we can bolt directly to the battery, or we can connect through the shunt if we're trying to measure it that way. This circuit breaker is good for 20 amps, and we'll be able to turn the go-kart on and off with this breaker. If there's ever a problem, you can switch it off and that'll cut power. And if something ever draws too much power, this will trip and shut everything down for you. Okay, now Lit Time has all kinds of materials for upgrading a golf cart, and some of those I've got laid out here. This is a shunt, and it uses these little bars and measures the difference in voltage across this while you're running, and it will tell you exactly how much power you're consuming and it would tell you how much battery power is left mm -hmm. and it would tell you how much you're using at any given moment and it has a little screen so you can see all that information this is a bus bar if we were putting this in a golf cart we might use several of these batteries so that we could go maybe 50 60 70 miles on one charge and in that case we would use a bus bar and you could connect multiple batteries into one connection point now one of the things you're going to need to be able to do is charge your battery. So Lit Time has sent us this 8 amp 48 volt charger. And this will allow you to plug it into the wall. It has an Anderson connector on it. And all the wiring I've made up for you uses these Anderson connectors. If we wanted to charge this with solar, we have this 60 amp solar charge controller. Now the really cool thing about this particular charger is it can charge 12 volt batteries, 24 volt batteries, 36 volt batteries, or 48 volt batteries. So you could have one of these things. You could use it to charge your golf cart, or in your case, a go-kart at 48 volts. Then your dad could switch it over to 12 volts and charge up the RV, which is a 12 volt system. So it's really flexible. Now today, you are gonna be driving your go-kart on sun power. Have you ever driven on sun power? Nope. Well, we charge this battery using a solar charge controller and all of your driving will be with sun power how cool is that really cool it is really cool isn't it and in fact we'll look at the solar panels that i use to charge it here in a minute but they're very similar to these these are bifacial they can pick up sun from both sides wow yeah all right so i want to explain a little bit about the difference in battery technology to you this chart shows lithium iron phosphate which is what this battery is and 
lead acid, which is what this. In fact, this is one of the best lead acid batteries you can get. It's AGM. And AGM has glass mats in it that improve that old technology just a little bit. But even that doesn't compare to this. This is the same technology that is used in electric cars, and it's the exact same technology that I use to power my house. These batteries can power the whole house. Wow. Yeah. So what makes these different? Well, this battery can handle 6,000 cycles. Now, you said before that these batteries didn't even last you a year. Well, that's because they can only handle about 300 cycles before they die. 6,000 cycles, 300 cycles. So these will last much, much longer. Now, they have about the same capacity. They're both 30 amp hour batteries. However, these kind of batteries, you can only use about 50% of their charge or you damage them. Now, one of the reasons you probably killed these really quickly is you drove the go-kart until it just totally ran out of power and then you charged it, right? Mm -hmm. But actually, they're only capable of about 50% of their use if you want them to last a long time. This one, you can use 80% of its life or 80% of its capacity, and it will still go for 6,000 cycles. The technology within this battery will automatically turn it off before it gets too low to be damaged. These batteries don't have that kind of technology, so they get destroyed really quickly. Another nice thing, these you have to plug in all night to charge. But this one with this charger will charge in about three hours. In fact, in probably two hours, you'll have enough to run it for quite a while you could charge it in one hour. The fact is these batteries can handle a lot more input and output than these lead acid batteries. Maximum output, these can do, uh, this battery can do 120 amps in five seconds, over five seconds, and the lead acid can do 180 amps in five seconds. So it sounds like it can do more. Your go-kart only uses 14 amps. So this can put out 30 amps continuously all day long with just one battery. So you'll never come anywhere close to overloading this battery. These batteries are also lighter. Yeah, this one's 27.6 pounds, this one's 31.1 pounds. Ow. Both heavy, but lighter means you can go faster, right? Are you enjoying this? You like learning new stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the charge discharge curve, okay? So over here we have the voltage of the battery pack, and down here we have the percent of charge, so how much power is left in the battery. Now, you can see the lead acid battery starts at about 56 volts, and then as you drive it, the voltage continues to fall, 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 until you get to 100%, and it's all the way down here at about 40 volts. Did you notice as you drive, you get less and less power? And that makes you sad, right? Because <laughs> nobody wants less power. Well, these batteries are very different. It starts at a higher voltage, and as it runs, see how flat that is? Mm -hmm. It stays above 56 volts, for the entire time you drive it. When you get to 80% capacity where it starts to fall off, that's when you'll t it'll shut itself down and it'll be time to recharge. And you'll have full power the whole time. In fact, at 80% life, your lead acid batteries were only putting out about 46 volts and this will still be putting out 56 volts. So the voltage is directly related to how much power you'll have. Higher voltage, more power. Any questions? Nope. Okay, it's just self-explanatory, right? Okay. A little bit later, we're going to talk about solar charging, but before we do that, let's put this thing together and see how it works. Okay. You ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do it.